got a uh, a little middle bust on. I'm gonna split my row in half. So I'm gonna plant some potatoes. I'm gonna split my row in half with it. And uh, and then after I put my potatoes in the ground, I'm gonna take my little hippers or row makers, whatever you wanna call them, and cover them, cover it all back up with the same implement. I'm gonna show you that. I got my roots split. I'm gonna put a little fertilizer down the middle. And I ain't gonna be too scientific about it. I'm just gonna throw it down there. Alright, this is the potatoes that we harvest, harvest for uh, this year. And I'm gonna go ahead and plant them for this year. I'm just gonna take a little eye coming out of them already. And that's gonna be for our fall crop. I'm gonna stick them in the ground. And uh, I done this. With a little hand tiller and a rake and a hoe for many, many years. Yeah, my whole life, really. This is really one of the first few times I do it with a tractor. It's just because, I don't know, the older you get, time seems to be more of a precious commodity. So it's faster to do it like this. So I, I use the tractor because we got all the tools and all the ports. But I've been doing it many years with a little walk behind tiller. And a rake and a hole. I'm putting about every eight inches or so. I'm gonna come back with a tractor and cover them back up with the hippers. All right. Now that uh, I'm gonna be hipping them, oh, I'm gonna want these to be a little more aggressive on that pitch. I'm gonna turn it into the track itself. I'm gonna probably line to take this corner with this bar. Which pretty much put it on a I'm gonna say probably about a 30 degree angle. It's just a little bit more of an angle than it was to make the row itself. I'm gonna see how that works. And if it don't work then I'll change the pitch. It should work. Because the ground has a little moisture because it just rained, it's throwing big chunks out. But other than that, it's doing real good. And uh, that's all there is to it. If you got the equipment, you can do acres of it, really. There's no limit to it. But also, like I said, I've done it for many years just with a little tiller. All I did was pass a little tiller when I walked behind. Same thing with the tractor. Exactly what I did with the tractor, I did with the, by hand. Passed it with a tiller, tiller, made a little small row with a hoe, made a little trench, put the potatoes, and hold it back up. It's the same process, it's just got a piece of equipment that does it for you. So that's how I do it, and pretty much everybody else in this southern area, we do the same thing with the same pieces of equipment. <laughs>